It's been a couple years since we've had a Las Vegas event. Really glad to be back here. Vegas always kind of takes these events to the next level. We have more customers, cooler venue. It's just on a grander scale. We're very excited to be here from Las Vegas Hyper X Arena. This is one of the best venues ever. To come to a live hacking event where you have like 100 people in a room who are all like super passionate, there's just like kind of a bit of magic. It's amazing, it's amazing. Yeah, I really like the, the space, the venue. Hackers are a must-have for a mature security program because there's going to be things you missed. We have just really loved our experience working with the hacker community. They continue to look at different parts of our product and they get to know us, we get to work with them. To actually talk to the customers and then like you mention like kind of something you reported and they're like, oh yeah, like I remember that report. We had like a huge scramble internally and you caused like a week worth of like work for us. <laughs> Me clicking the button is like causing something to happen. It makes it feel like a whole lot more real. But the programs that are being selected for these events, they're responding quickly to the reports. We're able to understand what they want from their program and how we can provide that. Ethical hackers are the immune system of the internet. They see the problems, they detect the problems earlier than anybody else. And when they do that, you can preemptively avert attacks. We actually met over here and we collaborated together. Katie's over here. And we found um, found something we didn't know if it's good or bad. And then we just submitted it and got like a, got a bounty. Basically hacked like all day yesterday on like one weird specific thing. And I just went really deep into it. I am really excited for the next few days because I think it's going to be some really interesting time. I think initially it's a little bit harder to like build that community of people. But I think with just like more participation and more like collaboration, like you'll kind of make a name for yourself. Many years ago, I was um, apprehensive. I had all my secrets and didn't know if I could trust anyone here. But then you learned you could share and like two can do the work of three. And if you got a team of four or five, maybe you can do the work of ten. It was very unexpected. Like yeah. we were just working and collaborating yesterday morning. And we just like managed to find a critical and just like the dopamine rush was yeah, we crazy. Like... Got a lot of bounties to go. I think we've gotten six and we are scheduled for 29. So 23 more bounties to go. Hopefully push us up to maybe second, maybe first. I don't know. <laughs> like it's very chaotic. I want it not to be like that, but that, that's what happens. And maybe someone says, hey, I, I, I saw this and it looks interesting and then everyone yeah. <laughs> uh, and, uh... Well, I have to do like this. Yeah. Maybe we've gotten some nice tattoos. There was puppies here at some point. But what's standing out is the connections and relationships for me. When you leave here, you go back home and you still have the relationships. You can connect with on Slack or on Zoom. People kind of compare it to like going to camp. The positive impact for Zoom and working with the hacker community really has been about the difference of thought, opening our eyes to different ways in which our platform could be taken advantage of. The more that we can build relationships with the hacker community, the more that we can make sure they're looking at our product, that we're getting better coverage, and the benefits have been amazing. 